Hey folks, I'm going to show you guys how to use uh, OpenShot Video Editor today. That's the program right here. When you double click on your icon on your desktop, OpenShot Video Editor, this is what you see. Uh, the reason I'm using a camera shooting at my video monitor instead of using screen capture is because uh, the native uh, screen capture program that comes with Windows won't let me, it'll kick me out if I go from the desktop to the um, to the program so this is what I have to do so when you so I'm just going to show you this real quick I know a lot of people say that this isn't the best video editor and uh, you should be using uh, Adobe and all this other stuff and that's true there's a lot of things that those programs can do but this program is really quick and dirty and easy for doing some like real simple stuff and this is one of these projects that I just happen to need to do I need to splice two videos together and I want to do a, a simple fade and this program is really powerful and easy to use that way. So here's how you do it. Uh, the folders that I have my files in are, are the one that I'm wiggling right now in the lower right hand or left hand part of the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and open that folder and I'm going to drag and drop and drag and drop. Oops, drag and drop into this, this window here, this column right here. Project files. So I can close that now. So that's basically these files still exist in this folder. They haven't gone anywhere. I didn't move the files. I just indicated to the program that I want to use these files. Okay, so now, so these files will stay the same the, as the original no matter what I do to them. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first um, video that I want to um, splice together and I'm going to put it on the bottom track right down here. And I'm going to move this slider bar all the way to the end of that track. And then I'm going to take the second one and I'm going to butt it right up against that track. Okay. So now what I can do is I can go back here and see this little needle here. This is going to show me in this window what I'm looking at. Okay. And I'm basically going to a couple websites in this video. So it's really kind of boring. It's mostly about the voiceover. I'm just relaying information. And when I get to the transition point, I can see if that transition is going gonna, is gonna to be the way I want it to be. And here's play. All right, so I'm going to press play. We're going to watch the time indicator go over. And that's pretty good. It jumps right over. So I don't know if I need a fade. I could fade on there if I wanted to. So let's say I want there to be a fade over between these two videos. I pick up this video and I move it over top of the end of the, the beginning of the video over top of the end of the first video. And I drop it and you'll see this little blue area here and that's your transition. And by default, OpenShot Editor will make a nice, smooth, blended transition. Here, I'll play it for you. See? I mean, it's not as dramatic when it's, it's the same screen, but... I kind of like that. So I'm going to leave that. So that's what you can do. That's an easy, quick way to splice two videos together with a simple transition. Um, Alright, so that's how you put these two videos together. Now, when you put the two videos together in order to make one file, what you have to do is you have to go up here to um, this kind of like reddish button. It looks like a record button, basically. And it says export video when you mouse over it. So you click on that. And I'm going to go to... Um, I'm going to browse and go to my desktop. I just like... I like throwing things on my desktop, obviously. Hit select folder. And then you get to name the project, which I'll just name... Splice for quickness sake, and then you can always, you know, rename it later. Hit export video, and then it starts the process. And you can see the pro progress bar down at the bottom of exporting the video and making the changes that you made. Now, there is so much more that you can do with this program, but this is what I use it for is splicing two videos together because you used to be able to do this in. Uh, YouTube's video editor and you can't anymore so I had to learn how to do this uh, with a 
uh, another piece of software. If this helped you, please like the video, comment, uh, give me a question if you want. I don't know the whole program, but I'll help you as much as I can. And by helping you, you help me because then I have to learn about stuff and then I able to teach people and the more I teach people I learn more and uh, see if you can help somebody today without getting caught that's always a great thing to do have a great day and uh, see you on the next one